Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mr. Free. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Uh, I'm going to be probably very quiet in this episode. I'm probably quiet at the minute. I've uh, left my game on pause uh, for like five hours, no joke. Look at the time at the bottom left. 28 hours I'm at now. I paused it because uh, someone had put... Oh my god, I didn't want to go back. Someone... Um, was basically was doing a live stream on Twitch and I, I wanted to watch it and that was at one o'clock in the morning uh, I was basically watching Rock Paper Mario's uh, just live stream for four hours so it's five o'clock in the morning now and I've I've had to carry on recording because you know I haven't saved in ages so yeah <laughs> it's quite funny I thought we uh, you know I thought I was gonna be watching you know live stream for an hour or two but I ended up watching it Oh, he was playing Shadow of the Colossus. Bit of, I will go. Meet with Maester C. Bit of Rugrats from the PS1. Some Spyro, Gateway to Glimmer. Luna. Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Uh, what else? Star Fox Adventures. Uh, Heart, Heartless of Darkness. No, Heartless of Darkness. Um, Hearts of Darkness. What? Oh dear. So yeah, it's been a so long night for me, but it What do you think about Yuna getting married? It's been fun, but I am tired. As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. But it should be for What's love. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. Uh, it's still not right though, is it? I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. I don't it. get it either, really, to be honest. I get it, but I still don't feel that's enough of a reason for, for marriage. Uh, right, so yeah, anyway, let's leave this place and. Or I'm gonna say. We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Yeah, pretty much ready now. Just wait for her. Listen. Okay. If Yuna gets married, then I. What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But. If Eunice said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. Hmm, I'm trying to uh, wiggle that one out in my head. Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. <laughs> right, and we get a choice of three options, obviously. Okay, or too late, or you're more my type, Lou. I'm just going to be a bit of a bit funny. Interesting. I suppose I could add you to my list. Oh. I wish you good luck, little boy. You're going to need it. <laughs> I just thought I'd be a little bit of a funny man there. We leave as soon as you. Yes, I'll be ready. I've done flirting with Lulu. I'm a little. I wonder if Maester Seymour has Sorry, heard. Sorry, skip that then. All about Jiskel coming out. I know that was a bit crazy, wasn't it? For a while there, I was a little worried about what was going to happen, yeah. Uh, what could he have actually done though? Could he have come out? Like, would he have turned into a fiend or... Well, I, I've got a feeling I'm not supposed to walk back. I got a feeling... I'm not supposed to walk in. No. I'll come off over the tower. What do I do? Oh, I know what I do. Yeah, you're coming here. What do potions good? Buy some before leaving. Oh no, you don't have to come in here. That's just an optional cutscene. I'm sure it is. Yeah. 
Isn't that just an optional cutscene? I'm pretty sure it is. Leave the yeah, yeah. What do? Yeah, you just said that. Nothing else new. Oh, where do I go? Anything in this house? I'm stuck, guys. I don't know what to do. It's like a chest or anything. Oh, there's a chest back here, isn't there? I can. St Oh no, it's not. It looked like a chest. Ah, uh, it's not. Never mind. God damn it. Right, what am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to wait for you, but nothing's happening. I don't go in this shop, but now the Kamara's come out of here. I know a walker's in here, yeah. And he's bitches about the prices. You got anything? Weapons. Water strike, lightning strike. So we had fire and ice. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother. No, sorry, mate. I need to get cracking with this episode. Right, no, it's proper seriously. Like, what the hell do I do? For what? We leave us. I know, but. We're... What do you do? Ah. Oh. Was the lady summoner not with you? No. No. She's at Seymour's place. That's Maester Seymour or Lord Seymour. Okay. Oh, I'll be careful. Sorry. That's all right. Oh, Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago. No. Oh. You serious? I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Oh, All right. I gotta tell the others. Well, that was a bit of a waste of time. We well, must have left quickly. We weren't at the fire plane that long. And Rika, where she popped out of? Or from? So, yeah, sorry if my commentary is dead lame. It's probably lame anyway, you know, normally, but if it's lamer than Luke, it normally please is. Please tell me, what can I do to help? What do you mean? Yuna, let's go! What do you mean, Yuna? I think you know something that we don't. And I think you're hiding it. Say Seymour went to Macarena Temple. <laughs> Macarena Temple. Macalania Temple. <laughs> I? I? I don't get is. Why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Mm, could be. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna. What is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true. It's nothing. Come on. Let's go. Yes, let us go. I didn't realize it was going to take 10 minutes to get out of this place. Right, and now we can go through here to the Thunder Plains. We're probably going to have another cutscene. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make this episode longer than 15 minutes. I want to get to a, a save point and give it a nice finish to the episode, even though it's you know ridiculously late or ridiculously early. You know, however. however which way you want to look at it. Oh no, we're here. Oh, yeah, she doesn't like lightning. How are we supposed to cross that? See the lightning rod towers? The lightning is drawn to them, hopefully. We head north, not too near and not too far from the towers, yeah? Meaning we should avoid wide open areas. I think I forgot something in Guado Salam. Nice knowing you. Okay, okay, I'll go. Oh, bless her, she's so sweet. Right, the Gandalf. It always makes me think of Gandalf. Gandalf on the planes, right, so lightning can strike at any time, so keep moving. The lightning rods attacks nearby lightning, so she seeks shelter under them. <coughs> um, yep, just like that. 
where there are no towers, you can dodge lightning by pressing X. Hit X as soon as you see a flash, and if you're successful, you'll dodge it. Constantly mashing X, I like how it says mashing as well, however, can be dangerous, it should say will be dangerous, you will not dodge if you're mashing the X. Okay, let's go. Whoa, okay. Right, you get items for dodging uh, lightning bolts in a row, like 10 in a row, 25 in a row, 50 in a row, I actually want to get 50 in a row. Guys, uh, I'll, I'll do it off screen though, of course. I'm not going to do it in this session because it's 5 o'clock in the morning and I'll, <laughs> I won't be able to do it. But I, <clears throat> I basically want to dodge 50 lightning bolts in a row uh, to get three strength spheres, which are going to be awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure it's three you get. So, yeah, I really can't wait for that. <laughs> Oh my god, have I seriously just come into the battle with no MP and not healed myself up or anything? Holy gee. Jesh. Oh, thank god she's got. I was gonna say. They can't just be dealing devastating damage to everyone. Right, let's bring Riku out back. We need to get her out of there now. This is a great place for leveling up as well, for grinding. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh bless her. Uh, well, what we'll do is water. So all the creatures there are obviously thunder. Water is our best bet. Oh yeah, I've also got a lightning ward on uh, Lulu. That'll help with if you put that, on, you know, everyone. With the flow. <laughs> oh, I didn't finish it. Oh, you've had it now. Lulu's mad. Oh no, I'm, I'm getting Lulu. Lulu's having a move no matter what. It's happening. There we go. Why? So she can do her water of fury. Right, this is going to sound weird again. I got seven, I did better than last time. I took care of it, it wasn't that great though, was it? Let's be honest, we do need a magic stat to be higher. But look at the experience. Oh my god, I forgot it was that much. Oh my god, I'm going to be doing a shed load of uh, grinding off screen. Right, so yeah, I've got a dodge 50 light, but 50 in a row. I think the max one is 200, but I won't be doing that ever. Like, oh, do I have to get? Do I have to do 200 for a sigil? Holy crap, do I? Oh my god, they're doing a lot more. Uh, oh, if I do, then I'll have to, won't I? Um, I don't know, but I'll be doing 50 before I leave this place. Yeah, let's get the unit in. Like water are just on this, because this is a second stage spell. I'm going to win the episode after this fight as well, guys, because... Uh, we will... Why did I do that? Uh, we haven't seen everything from this place. But, uh, it doesn't matter because we, we, we'll be seeing a lot more, you know, this place is, it's not long, it's just, we'll definitely be seeing everything just by walking through it though, so, I oh, won't worry about that, I'll be doing a shitload of bloody grinding off school. That is the disgusting thing about this, um, about that, is, uh, the whole, if you're, uh, it, it does the lightning bolt quite a lot when, when you've just come out of a battle and you're not expecting it to strike. I'm just going to dodge a few. Hopefully, uh... Oh, that's a quick one, yeah. Whoa. 
yeah, I think I've dodged about 10 now. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I know I've dodged quite a few in a row. So I'm going to end the episode there. And if a lightning bolt strikes now, I'm not going to be happy. It shouldn't though, because I'm right next to the safe fair. Right, okay, this is Mr. Freep. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. See you next time.